Well, Howard, um, it's just been the worst season imaginable, hasn't it? It's been shocking, Bob. Um, you know, it's been five years of, of, of pain. And um, I have been quoted as saying, if you circled the drain long enough, you eventually go down it. But my word, we've gone down it in style this year. I don't think anyone could see how bad this year was going to be. I mean, when Tim Sherwood went, for all his coaching qualifications, Remy Gard was not the man, was he? Well, I could see the logic, uh, Bob, in why they went for Remy Gard, purely because they'd invested a fortune in French players that summer. And so, obviously, they thought that um, the answer was a French coach. So you could perhaps see why they appointed him, but as it's proved, it's been a disaster because actually all it did was alienate an already um, underperforming dressing room and, and cause massive splits. Um, and, and, and the influential players like Agbon Lahore, Richards and Lescott uh, just weren't motivated by him at all, it seems. Who do you want now? Um, I, I think that there's a, there should be a short list uh, of three candidates, um, and that would be Moyes, Pearson and Daesh, ideally. But obviously, with the club in such turmoil, um, and with you know the, the, the two directors resigning this week, um, you know whether three candidates of that caliber will now come to the football club is very much open to debate. Uh, there's been. Uh... A revelation this morning that uh, there was a, a, a swap of emails between Randy Lerner, uh, Lord King and David Bernstein. Um, when this sort of thing goes public for a club who's, who is in crisis, there's no other way of putting it. Uh, it I mean, it's embarrassing, isn't it? It's, it's incredible. It's hard to believe, really, that it's going on. Um, you know, and you know, I, I don't think Bernstein and King have come out of it particularly with that much credit because they've clearly leaked the document, their private resignation letters, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I don't think that's particularly professional behaviour either in, in defence of Randy. But equally, um, you know, they, they've only been here a very short time, so they can't really be blamed for the, um, for the complete mess the football club is in. He's been trying to sell the club for some time. Um, if they can actually find a buyer now, is that going to help? I think it. I think you would certainly hope it would. I mean, obviously, that largely depends on who he sells to, and, and of course, there's um, the strong rumour that. Well, it, it, the reality has to be that the price will come down now because we are out of the Premier League, and the uh, you know the business model will change drastically as a result. So, the asking price will come down. That will generate interest, but of course, that in turn generates potentially dangerous bidders. So uh, it very much depends, Bob, who he sells to. Does it say everything about the meltdown within the club and particularly the dressing room that we've been reading headlines in the Red Tops this year about both Jack Grealish and Gabby Ogbon Lahore? Yeah, I mean, the club's just completely lost the plot. It's, it's become, it's more akin to a daily soap opera than a football club. Um, it really is, you know, it's literally a story a day. I mean, it must be... Uh, a dream for the media because there's just so much material on a daily basis um, it's but it's very sad and humiliating for anybody that loves the club like me and thousands and thousands of other people uh, in Birmingham and, and around the country and around the globe and you've got to have a major clear out of players haven't you yeah um, major clear out happened last summer and obviously as we've seen <laughs> has not gone well, so um, another clear-out is, is needed. And this time, they've got to get it right, because if they don't, um, a future like Leeds United beckons. I saw Paul Lambert uh, quoted this week saying, um, it's a hard, hard division when they get down there. You've got teams like Blackburn Rovers, you've got Derby still there, Leeds, Nottingham Forest, Sheffield Wednesday. Been trying to get out for years. It's not going to be easy, is it? No. <laughs> No, definitely not, Bob. And anyone who thinks it is going to be easy are, are deluding themselves. It's a very, very tough league, 46 battles. And there's going to be uh, a number of Midlands clubs in that division next season. So, Birmingham you know, City, for instance. Yes, 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 Birmingham City. Burton Albion and Warsaw, potentially, as well. Yeah. 
So uh, um, it's, it's, you know, Villa are, uh, are going to be targeted. You know, Villa Park to Palatial Stadium, fantastic facilities. And players, opposition players are going to love coming there and they're going to want to put one over on Villa. So Villa don't get the mix of the team exactly right. And, and, the, and that starts with the manager that they choose. Then uh, they're in for another very hard year. Howard, let's hope it improves. Appreciate your joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Bob.